Dr. Harry Kleiman of the commission was in to see Chevalo between rounds and uh, told Zach Clayton, the referee, that the eye is a slit and is starting to put up, puff up. This is round seven of a 10-rounder. And still, to use the old cliche, anybody's fight. more clinching than usual in this round. See how nimble that Zach Clayton, the referee, is? He may have had the idea before this bout that he wanted to box, but Chevalo won't let him, apparently. So he has to slug it out. That right eye of Chevalo is practically closed. Both working head and body in this round. One minute to go in round seven of a 10 rounder. Madison Square Garden. An uppercut, the first of the fight by Quarry. First real uppercut. was that for a rally? Now Chevalo seems to be hurt. He seems to be spent. And Quarry is down. Quarry taking the mandatory eight count. Ten seconds to go in round seven. Oh no. Oh no! There's going to be a dispute over this. Quarry stayed down too long. There's going to be an argument over this. The referee, Zach Clayton, stopped the fight. And there's a, uh, another fight in the ring. Quarry stayed down too long. He wanted to get up at the count of 10. And Zach Clayton says he stayed down too long, and Clayton says the fight is over, and the winner by a knockout is George Chevallo. George Chevallo. ...years old, and uh, it's quite an experience. Well, we'll certainly find out. So far, he has looked in fine condition. Terry Corey in the blue trunks trying to work to the inside and of course Clay having the superior speed has effectively so far stayed out of range of that left hook. Jerry said in his pre-fight strategy he was going to try to get inside to cut him off. So far he has not been able to do that. Good left hook to the body by Corey. That's a good Again. test. 
Clay is using that left jab just like a piston, constantly keeping Corey off balance by hammering it out there. There's a slight redness above the right eye of Jerry Corey. But a great show of spirit by Quarry, who looked as though it might be his last stand. And Quarry falling in the corner, head bowed, hands on his thighs there, and wondering, can I now give it a go? There he is. He realises, give all. I think perhaps we're watching the last round coming up. At least he did wipe some of the smile off Ali's face there. Ah, Ali out to finish it. Yes, it was a last stand, I think. It was Quarry's last gallant effort. Referee must stop it. Yes, it's all over. All over, and rightly so, and not before it's time. Round five. Frazier running out to finish his man of the town. Stop the fight! Stop! 
Gomez, Joe! Oh, oh. Harry's in bad shape. Lewis seems undecided whether or not to stop it. Warriors game and it's all over, I think. Yep, it's all over. I'm going up in the ring for an interview with the winner. And now, here's Angelo Dundee. Bianco says the blood is getting in Aquari's eye. The cut evidently isn't any deeper than it was before, and uh, they don't seem to think that it's that serious. Round five, and I don't know what they've been looking at because that blood has been getting into that eye since the eye is cut at the very beginning. Aquari at uh, 207 with uh, 29 knockouts out of 49 fights. Norton at 218 with uh, 25 KOs out of 32 victories. Of course, they both have said that they wanted to win this one. Quarry has threatened to retire if he loses it. Norton will uh, continue to make pictures if he can. He's making pictures right now. He's painting. <laughs> He's a big man, that Kenny Norton. He won 10 letters in high school. Four in football. Rather four in track and three in football. Everything is uphill for Quarry now. That right went. Quarry's head went back. I don't think that he has enough strength left to win this fight. Norton seems to be punching harder. I think it would be a real good idea right now if they would say this. That's all, Mr. Quarry, at this stage. This is round number five. I would say Norton has won three out of the four. Quarry is going to last long. At this rate, Quarry can't last long. Unless he gets lucky. Quarry's face is just a pulp. His punches seem to lack steam right now. Teddy Norton right now doesn't seem to have much respect for him. Very little respect, as a matter of fact, but I noticed something about Teddy. He's getting a little tired. He's probably getting tired from hitting Quarry. It's about a minute left to go in round number oh, he's five. he's resting. He'll rest. He'll go into a shell. He'll come out punching again. This is a 12-round bout. Quarry keeps trying. He's taking punches to the head. Teddy Norton has thrown very few punches to the body. Everything has been to the head. Barry looks like he's going to go down at any moment. I don't know what keeps him up. I don't know how he can stay on his legs. That's it. That's, That's the right thing to do. Congratulations, Johnny Lobianco. There is Kenny Norton being carried around the ring. He always said he wanted to fight Jerry Quarry. He always said that he knew he couldn't beat him if he fought him. He beat him as Jerry Quarry walking over, shaking hands.